Naga Munchetti and Charlie State began their weekly BBC breakfast hosting stint on Thursday as Carol Kirkwood presented the day's weather forecast. The two presenters were wearing poppies but BBC viewers felt the position and location of the poppies was incorrect and took to Twitter to comment. Charlie wore his poppy on his left lapel while Naga wore hers on the right side of her dress. Both BBC breakfast presenters had the poppy leaf pointing towards 5 o'clock. The British Legion notes, there is no correct way to wear a poppy, and, the best way to wear a poppy is simply with pride. It's a matter of personal choice whether someone chooses to wear a poppy and how they choose to wear it, they add. However, BBC viewers clashed over whether Charlie and Naga were wearing the remembrance symbol in the right way. Debbie Irving tweeted, at BBC Breakfast please ask Naga to fix her poppy and wear it on the correct side. Chris added, please can someone adjust Charlie's poppy? The leaf should be pointing to 11 o'clock o'clock, thanks. Quick question is there a reason why all of a sudden at BBC Breakfast are wearing a poppy with the green leaf at 5 o'clock? I thought it was worn at 11 o'clock, Elkel said. Kim remarked, at BBC Breakfast Naga and Charlie are wearing their poppy the wrong way. Why is Naga Munchetti wearing her poppy on the wrong side? At BBC Breakfast, Russ McNally questioned. Nicola Holland James wrote, It would be good if your new staff on set could actually wear their poppies in the correct way. Poppy on the left lapel with the green leaf pointing to 11 o'clock. Thursday's show included an interview with Ben and Aidan whose dad lost his life during military service. Sergeant Major Gary O'Donnell was killed in Afghanistan in 2008. The pair told BBC Breakfast why attending Sunday's National Remembrance Parade is important to them. Ben shared, I often think, what would he do, in situations in my life? I really looked up to him, I want to be like him. I think he was my hero. I think he was kind, generous. He had such an amazing job and was so good at it. I've really fond memories with him. It's about remembering those who've given the ultimate sacrifice, even if it's something little like visiting my dad's plaque, just to show remembrance, he continued. But I think it is a tough time because obviously, all the memories flood back. We're looking back to, not just my dad, but all the soldiers that gave their lives.